haven't been on the ocean, you know, even for like small amounts of time very much. And so just to be out here, it's really, just makes you think, you know, at night, like you look up and see all the stars, like we were doing our star frenzy last night and it makes it all worth it. I'm Amanda Dwyer and I go to Lawrence University in Appleton, Wisconsin, and I'm a biology and environmental studies major. The 100 count is what we do from samples from our new Centos. Nets out of the water! When you pull the net out of the water, you have the cotton jar, which has the majority of the stuff that went through the net. And then to do the 100 count, we take a little scoop and we put it in a petri dish and look under the dissecting microscope. And then you go through and count the first 100 organisms that you see. So four copepods and one nematode. So then you get a good sample of like the diversity that you've got from your sample of all the different organisms. I took aquatic ecology last term, and so we did a lot of samples from lakes. And then this summer I'm going to do um, invasive species in the Fox River. So it's definitely freshwater and saltwater. It's a little different in the size spectrum. It's definitely a lot different. Part of our watch rotation is being assistant stewards, so we spend a day in the galley helping Jen out with all the snacks and making the meals for the whole crew. I don't cook very much, you know, I live in a dorm at school, so that was kind of different. I was pretty nervous about getting seasick, being down below the whole day, but it all worked out. Early on, steering the boat was definitely like a, kind of like one of the scary jobs of being on deck, like, oh no, I'm gonna steer the wrong way and I'm gonna get off and I can't stay on course, and now, I mean, it only took a couple of days to get used to feeling how you have to compensate with the wind and compensate with the rudder, and now it's one of the more relaxing and most enjoyable parts of deck.